Okay, so this right here was part of the shock drop. Here's the shoe box for the Jordan 5s, Fire Red. You got your Nike Air on the box. You got your Seaman Bottom on the box. You got your Jordan Info, your Jumpman logo, as well as the size tag right here. When you open this bad boy up. Oh, this the boxes should include a code or a number, like a marker for the box. You have your traditional black shoe paper. The shoe came with these around the tongue area. But as you know, I've already took these bad boys out the box. Bam! And there they go. The Jordan 5 Fire Red 69 points. So, if you're watching the channel for the first time, I need you to do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. If you like car content, if you like sneaker reviews, and you like financial tips, this is the channel for you. So, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, so you'll be in the loop when I post new videos. With that being said, let's jump right into this one. Right, so we back. So I had to, I had to put on, you know, the, the, some gear. I had to put some gear on because we had to set the mood right. Um, for y'all, that's our Jordan head, Jordan fanatics. You know that the Last Dance TV show documentary, to be exact, comes on every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, um, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, it's one hell of a documentary. I recommend everyone check it out. This week is episode three and four. They're going to be talking more about the Detroit, um, when he was going against Detroit, as well as the, the Dennis Rodman. And, man, for y'all that weren't around then, see, I'm a, I'm a little bit of an older head, so I was around during that time. But for some of y'all young heads that don't know about Dennis Rodman, Y'all are going to be in for a treat this weekend. Man, Dennis Rodman was social media before there was social media. But that's not what we're here for today. Today we're here for these Jordan 5 Fire Reds. Woo-wee! And they are beautiful. So, with that being said, let's get into it. They have some premium leather here. This leather is real buttery, man. It's real smooth to the touch. It looks good. It feels good. It is good. You got your netting here. The traditional netting on the Jordan 5s, of course. Look at that bottom. You got the icy bottom with the Jumpman logo in red. You can't miss that. With the Nike branding on the bottom here and then you got your traditional air bubble right there right there you see it right there and then you got your flames right here that was from the bummer planes i believe from back in the day um that's where tinker hatfield got the idea from as well as this beautiful tongue oh my goodness it's nice and big it's gray and it does light up it is 3m on the tongue you know you got your red jump man but it's 3m on the tongue Inside the tongue, you got Air Jordan written upside down. So you don't get it messed up or misconstrued. These are Air Jordans. And then you got your Nike Air on the back, of course. Nike Air on the back, which makes this shoe even better because it brings it back to the OG. And if you watched my previous video, that's why I was talking about um, the Jordans, the, the, the retros now. They're getting really, really close to the original pairs from back in the day, which make these very, very special. I had these before. I believe I had these in like 2012, the 2012 versions, and um, I gave them away to Goodwill. And so uh, to get these pair back, um, I'm very, very happy with these. Um, and actually, to be honest with you, I think the materials on these are better than the 2012s. Now, don't quote me on that, but... The ones that I had, I don't remember the leather feeling this good, to be completely honest. Um, also, the toe box shape may be a little different. Um, I like this toe, though. It uh, it just looks, the shoe just looks really, really nice. I mean, it's a clean shoe. Very clean shoe. I probably would stray away from wearing, like, dark blue jeans with these shoes because 
I got a feeling that they will stain easily. So uh, I'll kind of be cautious for all my blue jean wearers. Like really be very, very careful with these because I got a feeling this area right here will get marked up very, very easily. So be careful with that. So I'm gonna hit you guys with some stock images also of this shoe and talk about a little bit of history. Um, three decades after its debut, the Air Jordan 5 is back in an OG colorway um, that's still built to the turn heads. So uh, three decades, that's 30 years, man, 30 years ago. An upper of white leather meets contrasting black on the midsole. So here we go right here, contrasting black on the midsole. While hints of fire red and blazing flavor to the lining. You see the red, blazing red right there. And you see, you see the blazing fire right here. What else we got? Lace locks, lace locks right here. You see your lace locks. These lace locks are very, very nice. They even got, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they got Nike written on the lace locks right there. And then actually on the lace locks in the inside, there's black Nike branding on the actual lace lock and that can slide out but uh i just like to keep mine like that uh also what we got here so mj he rocked these exact same makeup of these shoes back in march 28th of 1990 um so this says here as an accident squad from chicago battle cleveland eventually winning the game in overtime he had a career high 69 points so that's a little history for you guys. Michael Jordan's career high is 69 points. So uh, yeah, I know if you watched the documentary last week, you guys saw him drop a cool 63 on them balls in Celtics though. Yeah, yeah, he gave Larry Bird 63, 63. So yeah, that was pretty cool. So yeah, the heritage of the shoe, since the game winning shot that brought the championship glory to North Carolina, Michael Jordan has been at the forefront of basketball consciousness. He took to the court in 1985, wearing the original Air Jordan 1, simultaneously breaking league rules and his opponent's will while capturing imaginations of fans worldwide. So there you go. That's MJ in a nutshell, and these are the Fire Reds. Now, like I said, I got these on a shock drop while watching The Last Dance on ESPN. They loaded these bad boys up at 6 p.m., my wife actually got the notification. She said, hey, what are these? I said, oh, these are shoes we gotta have. So with that being said, we both got a pair. She was able to secure a size seven, I believe it's seven and a half or a size seven, not sure, but one of those two. But she was able to secure a pair of two. Um, I actually got mine a little earlier than hers. And, um, but the actual release date for these shoes is May 2nd. So anybody interested, these will be on Nike sneakers app. Um, Nike.com, I believe Foot Locker, Finish Line, all those foot sites will have them on May 2nd. I know um, Nike sneakers app, I believe at 7 a.m. these will be available. So if you still want a pair, shoot your shot on May 2nd. They're going for $200 on Nike sneakers app. Shoot your shot, shoot your shot, shoot your shot. With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in to Rituals. I got another sneaker review coming for you guys for the Puerto Rican Nike Air Max, I believe. So, uh, which are these right here? So, be doing a shoe review on these real soon. So, stay tuned for that review. Um, we have some car content coming up soon too, as well as I'll be doing some money tip videos for uh, all my people, especially during COVID-19. Once again, stay safe, stay in, stay prayed up, look out for one another. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the B-roll footage on these, the on foot looks.
All right, guys, you see the 3M on the tongue? You should really be able to see it now. That is dope. Yeah. I really like that. Don't mind the Adidas. <laughs> but those are some comfortable slides. Real comfortable. But look at that tongue. Dope.